Okay, so we are on day three of the isolation of gram-positive bacteria from the nose and skin. Okay, this is day two and day three are both part of part two that we're doing this week. So we are on day three. On day two, we created subcultures from two different looking colonies on our from our PDA plate that we made culture from, from ourselves, from our nose and skin. So we have a tube and a plate culture for isolate number one, a tube and a plate culture for isolate number two to work on the test we're doing today. So the test we're doing today, day three, the NSA plate, glucose broth, gram stain, and a catalyst test. The only thing new to you guys is the catalyst test. Maybe the other ones you should already know about and be able to tell me all about them and how the results and everything, right? Okay, so day three, you're going to be doing these, these tests. These tests are going to help you narrow down which genera your unknowns belong to. Okay, you have an unknown isolate number one and an unknown isolate number two. So when we're talking about genera, For instance, Bacillus cereus. This, Bacillus, is the genera. This is the species. So these tests are meant to help us determine which genera of gram-positive bacteria isolate one belongs to, and which genera of gram-positive bacteria isolate number two belongs to. Okay? So that's why we're starting with these tests, just to narrow it down to the genera. All right, so for the MSA plate, you've already done these before, so this is old hat. You have an MSA plate, you have labeled it with isolate number one. And we have a light R. Let's burn. We have a sterile swab. Okay, you can use either subculture, your TSA or your broth when you're inoculating these tests. Um, I prefer to use a broth when I'm doing a selective and differential media such as MSA just because it puts just about the right amount of bacteria on there to get the right result. So I'm using sterile swab, remove the sterile swab, the wrapper, pick up your isolate number one broth, clean the top, go in, soak your swab, clean the top, put back down, pick up your MSA plate, just do a zigzag. Cross it, okay? And then discard this in the autoclavable bin so that it gets autoclaved and killed. So you have, like, you have inoculated your MSA plate, okay? A glucose broth. Remember our purple glucose broth? This is to look for a glucose fermentation, remember? Okay? So we have our isolate number one broth, and we have the plate, so you can use either one. I am going to use the plate, so I'm going to take my inoculating loop, go ahead and sterilize it, pick it up, your isolate number one plate, cool it somewhere, get a little bit of your isolate number one, put the plate down, pick up your glucose broth, remove the lid, find the top, go ahead and inoculate the broth, find the top, the tube on, Top and two, and then flame your loop. Okay, and you have inoculated your glucose block with your isolate number one. Okay, so then you want to gram stain, which I'm not going to go over. Um, we've done that and how to do that. So you will do a gram stain, very important. Remember, the two most important things you can tell about bacteria the morphology and the gram stain result. These are concrete things about bacteria that do not change as long as you the stain correctly. Okay? So when you gram stain, you determine those two characteristics, and then you're going to also do a catalyst test. So this is new. Okay, and what you'll do is use a glass slide. I also put a separate video up of just the catalyst test. It's really close up that somebody else did. It is a nice video for you to watch so that you can, you can see the bubbles that they're created. Alright, so you're going to need a glass slide. And for this, you're going to use the plate culture. You cannot use the broth culture. Okay, 
what you want to do is go ahead and sterilize your loop. Okay? And then pick up your plate, cool it somewhere there isn't bacteria. Get a clump of bacteria. You all have to see it this time. For once, when people want to grab a bunch, you get to do it this time, okay? Get a bunch of bacteria, put that back down, and then just put that clump on the slide. And then I'm going to sterilize your loop. Okay. 